this is my second year with a Project Urban Canvas. And um, this year I found that it took a lot of teamwork and collaboration as opposed to last year because we are working on one wall together. Also, there's been a lot of people commenting on our mural and we've had a lot of positive feedback from our community, which is always a reward and very beneficial to us because we are seeing what kind of effect our mural is having on the community. Yeah, we actually interviewed like a lot of people from the plaza and we just walked around for the opinions of the people and we took some of our their ideas and just like uh, added to our art. One thing that I really like about the project is seeing how the youth come together. It's really reflective of the theme as well and of the article that we've chosen. Just seeing how the sense of community is built amongst people that have never worked together before, have never met before, and how they start to work together more like a team and a family really supportive of one another. Something that I also enjoyed this year uh, is having worked on Urban Canvas for a second year in a row is our perspective on the articles and the Declaration of Human Rights where last year the interpretation was um, or the representation was very much so something that is an ideal something that we are striving for and that's what we try to depict there and having had a year to reflect on it what I was thinking about and some of the returning youth thought of was as well is that we have not reached the ideal yet and though it is a very positive direction that we're heading in and striving for, this year we've chosen to, in our mural, sort of depict the, um, the path to the destination where we want to be, uh, to the path to uh, a true sense of community and harmony and people working together and having equal freedoms and rights. When I thought of the both, I thought of people working together to uh, go towards an ideal place which the Universal Declaration, if the Universal Declaration were to exist completely within a place, it would be the ideal place where everyone is equal, everyone is working together. So basically people who are, no matter the race, they're working together, they're in the same boat and they're trying to um, go towards a more ideal and harmonic place. We decided that community should be the central theme of it and we have the second M turned sideways so that it looks like an E, so that it reads come unity and unity is going to be bold when it's finished. Um, and in the background we have buildings because there's the apartment buildings right past this wall and a symbol of Toronto is obviously the CN Tower which is behind the eye and the uh, RT which is, the station is right behind us as well. So all of these things pulled together to uh, paint a pretty accurate representation of the neighborhood. Uh, one message I would like to have incorporated into the declaration would be the theme of gay rights as well, because it's important for everyone to have equal rights. This year, we got a lot more opportunities to educate people on human rights because we're outside and a lot of, pe a lot of people are walking by going in and out of the plaza. Um, I believe that it's important for everybody to know because the whole point is that everybody has these rights and not everybody, or everybody should have these rights and not everybody is uh, enjoying these rights. Therefore we have to let as much people know as possible so that those who aren't having their rights fulfilled can realize this and there can be some form of change.